Alright, so for those of you that don't know, yesterday I uploaded a meme video that showcased a rather interesting deck list. And if you haven't seen that already, I'll leave a little link on screen as well as a link in the description down below. And I got tons of comments asking for deck lists or just asking what the fuck actually happened. So the whole purpose of this video was to showcase basically that, what happened and show off the deck list for those of you that are more interested. If you haven't seen that video by the way, you should probably go watch it before this one. It is a meme video, it just only lasts a minute long and yeah, it probably makes more sense to watch that before this one. Alright, so before I go into the deck list, just a reminder, if you enjoy this kind of content, or if you want to see more of it, make sure to like the video and subscribe down below, that way I know you want more of it, and I'll make more of it. Alright, let's get into the, the actual deck list. Alright, so for those of you that didn't see the main video, the entire purpose of this deck is to summon out my boy, number 59, Crooked Crook. Oh, Crooked Cook, sorry. It's a guy is a level 4 monster who, you can ignore the entirety of his effect, the only thing you need to read is this card is unaffected by other cards. That's all that matters. So if you summon this guy out, and he's unaffected by everything, your opponent can't activate lightning storms on it, they can't break Gehi it, they just can't get rid of it, it's basically invincible. But it does have a couple of major weaknesses. The main one, and the one that this whole deck actually fixes, is normally, it's not that broken or anything, because you can just destroy it by battle, you can just beat over it, it's got Fuck all stats, easy to deal with. Unless of course, you summon it using a Buzzshaw Shark into a right hand shark. So Buzzshaw Shark can just simply summon this card straight out from the deck, that gives you two rank 4 monsters, or two level 4 monsters to make your boy. And this card says, this card, if the, the card that was exceed summoned with this card gains its effect. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. So basically, you summon this card, he's unaffected by everything, and he can't be destroyed by battle making him nearly immune. Obviously there are outs to him like Kaijus or, you know, stuff like that. There's even some weird ones, like things Cyber Angel Dakini can actually out him if you like. And you can also just do things like direct damage and you win as well. But the main issue with this deck is, or the main issue to uh, the current meta for this deck is, there isn't a whole lot that can actually deal with it that often. This is a best of one format game, so there's no side deck. People don't just side deck in Kaijus and stuff like that. So unless your opponent is playing a kaiju, unless they're playing some kind of direct damage, most of the time, they just lose. So the easiest way obviously to summon this card is through Buzzsaw Shark, with the right hand shark to attach the material. To do this we have multiple ways to get hold of the Buzzsaw Shark. Out we have Beautiful Princess, which on summon you can tribute it or banish it to special summon the shark straight from the deck. We have Piri Resist Map, which allows you to, at the start of your main phase, half your life points to search for the beautiful princess, doing the exact same thing again. We also have one, one for One, which lets you to discard a monster, to then also get a hold of a beautiful princess, all of which leads to your combo. Outside of that, the rest of the deck list is just whatever you like, really, that's the core of it. You should obviously, or you need to run Kaijus, because you'll come, like in the replay I'm about to show you, you'll come across plenty of games where your opponent's going to be running direct attack monsters or burn monsters, and you need to remove them. And you can't summon a monster to beat over them, so you just have to have things like Kaijus to tribute them. You also can't activate your spell cards or anything, because as soon as you play a spell card, that counts as having a monster on the field, and your monster's effect is deactivated, because this card, while you control no other cards, is unaffected. The rest of the effect doesn't matter. But if you control another card, you deactivate him, and you'll basically lose instantly. So you never want to play another card once you've summoned him. So, uh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, and the win con for the deck, you just draw through your entire deck, since your opponent can't deal with your monster, until you get Exodia. You just, <laughs> it's a very slow deck, it will take you a long time to win, as you'll see in this replay. In fact, it will take you so long to win, that I only actually have one replay where I've actually won with Exodia. I've won plenty of times with this deck, but of all the wins, I only have one that actually got the full Exodia, because most people, when they see this card, they go, oh, I can't kill that, and they just concede instantly. So let's get into the actual replay. Now, a reminder, this replay is going to be very long. I'll try to fast forward it, and I do misplay a couple of times, so I'll go over them, but it's a very long replay, as I have to draw through my entire deck to get the Exodia piece. As spoiler alert, the final one was a... Uh, the bottom card of the deck. Alright, let's get into it. So try to take my, my fish, sums out my shark. Unfortunately our opponent has an Ash Blossom, which you do have a removal for, you have Pulled by the Grave. But in this situation, it wasn't enough, he had an Imperman. 
yeah. A bit rough. Normally at this point, you're probably conceding to go on to the next game. It's, I decide to stay a little bit longer because we do have another starter in hand. So if we do somehow make it through the next turn, we're good to go. Imperm here's a speedroid card, not gonna lie. I just did search for something and didn't actually know what the hell this deck does, so I'll just negate that. Thankfully it would seem to be enough, our opponent must have had a pretty shitty hand. And he passed the turn back. Now we're gonna activate our Harpy's Feather Duster, destroying the card, and also Kaijuing his monster, because apparently this monster can increase the levels of all monsters some shit. Yeah, increase the levels of all monsters currently are filled by one. That would actually stop me summoning a rank 4, so we just Kaiju it. Summon our fish, banish our fish, summon our shark, activate the effect, summon out the right hand, and go into our crooked crook. Important to note, put in defense position, otherwise you can still die to battle damage. Yeah, I'll keep the rest of this game in fast forward mode though. He tries to swing in, obviously does nothing, good job. Solid attempt. Yeah, most of my videos I don't normally have in fast forward mode, but if I didn't do it for this one, we'd be here for actually hours, so. This guy really tried hard to get me. <laughs> he summoned so much stuff. And the grind begins. So he summons out his high speedroid guy, summons out a wind witch, and this wind witch actually led to a bit of a problematic card. He summoned out Winter Bell. Winter Bell can actually do burn damage based on every turn based on a Wind Witch in Grave, so he can keep burning you for 800 a turn. And this is why you run Kaijus in the deck, because as soon as I draw, I need to draw a Kaiju basically to out it, that's all I can do. Now I think I do something pretty stupid here in a second. Yeah, so never do this. I was pretty desperate to draw a Kaiju to try and get rid of this before I died, but in all, in all honesty, in hindsight, I have plenty of turns to draw, he's only doing 800 damage a turn, and if you, as soon as I activate this card, as soon as there is a card on board, my boy's effect is no longer activated. So, shouldn't have done this, if this card was like, I don't know, anything, a Karma card, Raigeki Break, the Paleo Trap that banishes, literally anything, he could've just used it now, destroyed my Crooked Cook, and I'd lose the game instantly. So, thankfully he didn't have anything, or maybe he didn't know, so, yeah, don't play any cards. Don't do it. Just hope to draw. I think I had Nash Blossom anyway in this case. This kind of proves my point that I didn't actually need to activate this at all, and I just drew into a, uh... Spoiler alert, I drew into a Kaiju eventually. And there it is. So as long as my opponent doesn't have any other burn damage, doesn't have any other tribute effects, doesn't have any cards that forces me to send a card to Graveyard, we should be good. Personally, I feel like this deck, in my opinion, should be banned. Not because it's only tries to imperm it, interesting. Personally, in my opinion, I think this deck should be banned, not because it's way too broken or it's just absurd or anything like that, as there was plenty of outs to it, but because this is a best of one format game, there is no side decks. Not every deck has a kaiju. In fact, I would say that most decks don't have a kaiju. So, most people don't actually have outs to this. Also, um, another important thing to note is that I was really stupid here. I think I discarded a bunch of kaijus. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> keep kaijus in hand. The important cards to keep in hand are your hand traps and your kaijus, as they're the only cards you can actually use. I can't use this imperm anymore, so I should have discarded it ages ago. And of course, he summons another burn damage card. Now I have no kaiju for it. But yeah. Make sure to keep kaijus and hand traps in hand. But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like this deck should be banned, not from a perspe perspective of it's way too broken or anything like that, but from a perspective of probably about 50% of the decks in this game, if not more, don't have an out to this card. And it's just not fun in a best of one format game, so for a game health state reason, I think this deck probably should be banned. Nice to ride Geki, my uh, monster this time. Eventually, we draw the Exodia, the final card in the deck. Alright, and that's going to do it for the gameplay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, normally I'd try to show you more gameplay or stuff, but as you can see, this deck takes 
way too long to actually get through a full replay, so that was it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and hope to see you in the next one. Laters.